Dr. Lee, what is emotional eating? Emotional eating is when you eat for reasons other than hunger. It often occurs when you are lonely, bored, sad, anxious, and sometimes even happy. Missing key nutrients in your diet can also trigger emotional eating. So you are saying that emotional eating is not caused by hunger? Yes, that is correct. People with variants in certain genes, particularly those involved in the brain's reward system, are more likely to experience emotional eating. Really? How is the brain involved? Certain foods you have had in the past generated happy molecules in your brain. This good feeling led you to want these foods again. We call these foods trigger foods. When you are unhappy or nervous, your brain sends a signal, making you crave your trigger foods, which give you a quick fix and help you feel better. The mechanism is similar to drug addiction. Interesting. But how does missing key nutrients in your diet lead to emotional eating? Well, mood swings and cravings are often caused by malnutrition. For example, not enough of certain essential amino acids or fatty acids in your diet can cause anxiety or depression. Oh wow! I had no idea. You see, when your diet is deficient in a key nutrient, your brain sends a signal, driving you to seek out food, in order to meet your nutritional need. But a lot of people don't understand what their body is trying to tell them. They simply choose the foods they had before, with the wrong food choices, they end up overeating and still don't feel satisfied. This happens more to people, who eat a lot of sugary and fatty foods, because their diet is high in calories, but low in nutrients. I see. So is this how emotional eating causes weight gain? Yes and no, it really depends on what types of foods you crave and also what satiety genes you have. Okay, can you explain a bit more? Of course. If you have low satiety genes, you're more likely to crave and eat more energy-dense foods like donuts, fatty meats, chocolate, and nuts. When you combine this with emotional eating, it can easily lead to weight gain and obesity. Well, that is not good at all. What can you do to help this? The best strategy is to identify the root cause of your emotional eating and eliminate it. How can you do that? The first step is to register at GB Health Watch. You can use the GB Online tool to check and see if you are lacking key nutrients in your diet. If your GB score is low, this is a good indication you are. Then, you should follow the tips provided to correct your nutrition imbalance. Next, start using some simple techniques. To manage your emotional eating episodes, do not buy or keep your trigger foods in your home. Instead, pre-portion out healthy snacks that support your nutritional needs in small bags or containers. Keep these on hand to eat when you have cravings. This way you can cut down on calories and boost your mood at the same time. Thanks Dr. Lee. I'm definitely signing up at GB Health Watch now.